Amazon. Now this. All the science geeks, whoa, are they <laughs> excited about this one? Earth 2.0, they call it. NASA has discovered Earth's bigger and older cousin. It's a bit like Earth, we are told. Can you get excited about this? Can you? I'm, I'm not so sure. This guy is uh, Tarek Malik. He is the managing editor of Space.com. You excited? Stuart, this is the holy grail of looking, for, of looking for exoplanets, uh, finding another Earth or something uh, that is as similar as we can to what we see around us now has been the focal point of this NASA mission, this Kepler mission to look for it. Now they're saying they found the best one yet. It's almost uh, exactly like our, our setup that we have around bit, our star. It's a bit bigger than ours, right? It's a bit. It's about 60% larger, just a bit bigger. Uh, it's got a brighter star, but it's further away. But its year is only about two weeks longer than ours. Um, the gravity a bit heavy, twice as much as ours. Uh, there could be volcanoes on this planet. It's the, it's the closest uh, uh, pairing in the last six years of this mission. Okay. To so find what they're looking at is the odds of finding some form of life on another planet. Exactly. And this particular planet, what is it, Kepler 532, whatever it is, uh, 542, 452B. Okay, yes. uh, Kepler 452B, uh, <laughs> that has similarities which suggest uh, alternate forms of life are possible. Correct? Exactly. This is a, there's a Goldilocks zone, if you will, around a star where liquid water like our oceans can exist. And on Earth, where you have water, there's life. And so that's been a guiding light for, uh, for NASA and for scientists. This, uh, this planet is smack in that middle zone of that, that Goldilocks zone. Uh, it looks like it could have water. Uh, it looks like it's rocky. Uh, those are the ingredients. That can we detect life? How would we detect it? It's so far away, could it, we? It is. Right now, we can only kind of know what the planet might be like. Just conjecture. Exactly. You would need a super mega powerful telescope. Uh, there are some on the drawing boards to try to look at these ones. Um, but uh, we can... now, now, wait a minute. That's interesting. Now, that turns me on. <laughs> You're saying that they're developing telescopes which will be space-based, that you could fly near some of these planets and take a really close look at them and see if anybody's waving from the surface. I mean, that's what you're talking about, isn't it? Yeah, there, 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 there are kind of follow-up missions to, to this one that would be a very large kind of uh, multiple telescopes working together to basically take the, the first snapshot of, of an actual planet. Some, uh, you know, NASA has their own, there's some other ones in other countries, but they're, they're still kind of, the technology is How long is would very, it take to get there? Yeah. Well, to get to this planet, mm. it's uh, 1,400 light years away. If you could leave now, going at light speed, you'd get there around 3415, you know, that the year. 3415. <laughs> so uh, so not, a, not a short trip. You'd have to pack a lot of snacks. So, wait a second. I've I got to get this right. If you could travel at faster than the speed of light, mm. and Einstein says that's not possible, if you could then you could get there in a very, very short time and real exploration is possible, but you can't travel faster than the speed of light. Not, not now, and maybe not ever, but hopefully, right? Finding a, a NASA actually has scientists working on that, Sonny Carter down in, in, in Houston, yeah. uh, looking at ways to uh, bridge that gap, that interstellar gap, to, to shorten that, because we're right. finding this planet, 452b, uh, they're finding, um, you know, there's at least a dozen habitable ones that we know of, uh, this is just one slice of our of our st of our galaxy, uh, and they're finding all these planets. So there could be a lot more that we don't know about. But finding a way to get there, yeah. and having a target now, a destination, yeah. uh, is is usually a good starting point. <laughs> I, I'm fascinated, but I'm not, not quite sure I'm as excited as you are. But that's another story. Tariq Malik, thanks very much indeed. Space.com. A pleasure. All right.